What is holding back your momentum? Hello, everybody. I want to talk about three areas that you might find yourself self stuck in right now that is holding back your momentum. There's others, of course, but I'm going to focus on these three. And depending on what your growth stage is, um, is going to depend on where you find yourself falling out in these three areas. So number one, you still need to learn to lead yourself. Um, the favorite saying of mine, I should come up with my own, but I just love um, Joyce Meyer's saying. She says, if you can't take um, authority over a sink full of dishes, how are you ever going to lead, learn to lead yourself? Or for that matter, anybody else. Um, so what does that kind of look like? Um, several things. You don't manage your time. Your focus is all over the place and it's more than likely not in the right place. You let your attention be drugged in every other direction. Um, you don't plan your day. So you don't have a plan. You don't work through that plan to get yourself through the day to a desired goal. And so you get to the end of the day and you feel like, what did I do? What did I achieve today? And it's because you didn't have an intended goal. You didn't have a plan just to get you through your day. Um, you don't manage your environment, so you have an incredibly cluttered and chaotic workspace. Um, you don't manage your, your household. And another thing that can be when you are not able to lead yourself is you are not able to say no. Um, so when you have people who ask you, you're a people pleaser, you haven't learned to say no because you don't want you know anybody to whatever they may think about you so they don't say so you don't say no and you end up doing somebody else's purpose somebody else's agenda instead of the god-given agenda if it takes you from your own purpose that god gave you that is then that's when you say no if it's something that's going to be mutually beneficial to help you both lead you to like a partnership that helps you both get to your desired goal, then those are things where you could say yes, because you're still going to, you're going to achieve the purpose that God gave you and maybe even uh, give you some, give you some of that momentum that we're talking about here. But if it takes your focus away from your purpose, then you, it's something that you need to say no to. So number one, you still need to learn to lead yourself. So this is what's slowing down your momentum. Uh, number two, um, and another thing that this is doing is you're literally throwing your own blocks in your path when you do this. All of these things where you don't learn to manage yourself in all of these different ways that I men man mentioned, you're, you're, you're throwing your own roadblocks you're in your own way. This chaos that's in your life um, causes, it just steals your momentum. So you have to learn to manage yourself so that you can get your momentum back. Um, number two, you're not ready to handle the growth yet. So you're still in this learning curve. You're still in this grind where you have to get through this learning curve in this growth stage. And a lot of people don't make it through this, this period of drag and grind and no momentum, um, because it's, it's hard and it takes a lot of commitment. It ca it takes a lot of decision deciding to stick through it no matter what um, and this uh, looks like you are gaining experience and a lot of times it's through your failures so um, you're learning the right way to do things the wrong way to do things and you just keep on going as you learn um, you're educating yourself because when you're you know, in your entrepreneurial journey, your business journey, there's all kinds of things that you need to learn. So you're, you're filling yourself with that knowledge so that you can increase that momentum. Your skill sets, you're, you're growing and you're increasing your skill sets. There's all kinds of skill sets that are required to get you to that momentum stage, um, like communicating. Today we are in this Everybody's on a platform. It's social media. That is where we're communicating at. And there are a sea of voices and we can get lost in the noise. And so we need to learn one of those skills is learning to communicate and getting better and better and better at that. 
and just shoving right through the fear and doing it anyway until you get good. You don't start out good, you just get better as you go. Sales, you know, sales can be a hard thing to learn, but getting good at sales, copywriting, funnels, all of those things that you have to start out doing yourself because it's just you. But and as you get to those, new, new, those next stages, as you're getting this momentum, that's when you um, start adding people to help you with that momentum, but that's for another topic. So all of these skill sets that you're having to learn and to teach yourself so that you can get to that momentum stage. Systems that you're having to create so that you can handle momentum. Your own character that you're having to develop so that when you have this momentum, you're able to handle it. So you're setting a firm foundation in this period. It doesn't feel like it. It's grind, it's work, it's mistakes, it's learning, it's growing. And um, a really good illustration of this I think is the Chinese bamboo. Um, you plant the seed and you do not see any indication that it is even growing for the first year. It takes a whole year before you even see the shoots of the plant. Okay, so that's within one year you finally start, start seeing shoots. The second year you see a little bit more growth and the third year a little bit more growth and the fourth year a little bit more growth. But what's happening is all of the growth all of the support system, the root system, is, is um, growing, it's underground. You don't see what's happening underground, the growth and the support system that's happening underground. And then that, in that fifth year, there is explosive growth because of that support system that it needed to have underground. In, in that fifth year, uh, there can be up to 100 feet of growth in this, with these uh, Chinese bamboo because it has already created that support system that it needed to be able to handle that growth. Um, and that's exactly what you're doing. Um, it may not take five years, hopefully it doesn't take five years, you know, um, but this is where you don't see that momentum, but you're placing the ground where it works so that you can be ready for that momentum. And number three, you could find yourself in this area. You are on the wrong path, perhaps. And this can look like a couple of different things, okay? Um, you could have had momentum and you were really enjoying the, the, the place that you were on, the path, uh, the, the path that you were on, um, but it's starting to, it's not something that you enjoy anymore. It's starting to feel like a grind. It's starting to feel like a struggle and you no longer want it to do it. And so you close the door on your momentum because it just no longer feels right. And now perhaps you're in this confused um, place. You have doubt. You're beating yourself up because you're not quite sure why you just did this. Or um, you suddenly get the doors closed on you. And this, in fact, is, it's actually a savior. Either, either of these two scenarios is, is actually a savior for you. You just don't realize it yet. What, was, what the problem is, is you were on the wrong path. So, um, first things first, the Lord says, seek me first, and all of these things will be added to you. So, and we're talking about wealth topics. To have the most success in your purpose what does that require? Well, that's going to require that God is walking with you. You have, you are doing his will, his will be done. You're doing his purpose that he has for you. You're including him in all of that. In fact, he's your CEO. He's, you know, leading the charge. And um, if he's not in it, well, then you're not going to have the most success. It, it becomes a struggle because you haven't made him part of your business, of your purpose, of your mission. So you're struggling. The other thing that could be happening, um, you either didn't bring him in or he already gave you a directive as to what it is that you're supposed to be doing and you either ignored it or you forgot about it or you weren't quite doing it as he wanted you to do so he's redirecting your focus but that is what this purpose is uh, of this time of, of um, the door seeming to be shut and all of a sudden no momentum is he is trying to redirect your path and get you on the right path that he has for you, the purpose that he has for you. Um, 
to do what that thing is that he told you to do because that is where your success is that is where that's where the flow is that is where the momentum is um is when you are on the path that he has called you to and when that light bulb comes when you get quiet with him and you spend time with him um and when he gets your eyes in the right direction and reminds you where it is that uh, your focus needs to be then you have that sudden clarity that light bulb moment um and this gives you clear direction and it's like the, like being that's where the the release is that's where the momentum is like a bow and arrow and that bow that arrow is released and you have that energy and momentum behind you because now you have the right path and it's a breath of fresh air and this is where your momentum is going to be and this is where your success is going to be because it's God's path for you it's God's will for you it's God's purpose for you and for the people that he has you for so I hope that you have found this insightful if you find yourself in any one of these areas if you're still needing to learn to lead yourself if you're still in that growth phase where you're still learning and, and building that firm foundation so you can handle the momentum when it happens um, or if you've discovered that all of a sudden you all of the growth has just stopped and you have no momentum anymore and it's because aha I'm on the wrong path God give me clarity so that I can get this burst of momentum back again because you know that when he puts you on the right path nothing can stop you so I hope you guys have found this helpful today if you're following me on YouTube, press the subscribe button and the notification uh, bell, and I will see you guys again on the next video.